1.4 meter honeycomb mirror for the giant Magellan telescope. It takes you through the grinding and polishing, ending with a piece of glass unlike anything ever made before. 28 feet in diameter with a lightweight structure and a surface accurate to a millionth of an inch, so it can reflect light to form the sharpest possible images. Following the casting, we turn the mirror upside down so we can grind and polish the rear surface. Like all mirror moves, this is done in a way that distributes forces evenly across the mirror and controls stress on the glass. Although starlight never reaches the rear surface, we grind and polish it to an accurate flat surface that serves as the interface to the telescope. The first step is machining with a diamond wheel to an accuracy of a few thousandths of an inch. This is followed by lapping and polishing to remove the microscopic fractures left from machining and make the surface smoother. Each GMT mirror is supported in the telescope by 165 actuators. They apply control forces through steel load spreaders to hold the mirror in the right shape as the telescope points in different directions and the mirror is buffeted by 20 mile per hour winds. We bond the load spreaders to the glass, then flip the mirror right side up and install it in a special support cell for the critical work on the front surface. Grinding and polishing the front surface are the final steps in the mirror fabrication. They make the mirror so smooth and accurate that if it were expanded to the size of North America, the tallest hill would be one inch high. We start with a machining operation to put in the correct shape to an accuracy of a thousandth of an inch. We still have to make the surface a thousand times more accurate to limit shape errors to a millionth of an inch. This requires a lapping process where we remove class selectively by rubbing a disc across the surface. The large stressed lap is a stiff tool that changes its shape to follow the variations in curvature from point to point across the mirror surface. Mm. It smooths out small scale ripples on the surface. The smaller laps are primarily for figuring rather than smoothing. We rub longer on the parts of the surface that are too high, bringing them down to match the rest of the surface. To measure the surface, we move the mirror from the polishing machine to the test tower. The most important measuring device is the interferometer, which illuminates the surface with laser light, collects the reflected light, and analyzes it to make a contour map of the surface with a resolution of a hundredth of a wavelength. Through many cycles of polishing and measuring, we gradually make the surface smooth and accurate to a millionth of an inch. At this point, the mirror can form images whose sharpness is limited by the wavelength of light and the size of the mirror, not by the tiny shape errors. We then prepare the finished mirror for shipping to the telescope or a storage facility off campus. First, we coat it with a protective film. We use a set of vacuum pads to lift it out of its support cell and onto a special frame designed for transport. Once the mirror is on the transport frame, it's enclosed in a steel box which is lifted by crane and taken out of the mirror lab. Finally, the mirror is set on a flatbed trailer with special suspension to begin its journey to the telescope.